So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. I say that because the question is only a little over a line long, and typically simplify questions are between one and three lines long. So first of all, we notice that they give us this function here, f of x equals 3 halves x plus b. I want you to keep in mind that f of x is the same as y, right? So we could write that as y equals 3 halves x plus b. I'm not saying that you should do that, just saying keep in mind that this is true in case it, in case it becomes valuable to you later on. So the question says, in the function above, b is a constant, okay? If f of 6 equals 7, so what does f of 6 equaling 7 mean? Well, that means that when x equals 6, right, because we're replacing this x with 6, then y, or f of x, is equal to 7. I like to think of it more so from a when x equals 6, y equals 7, and then just keep in mind again that y and f of x mean the same thing. So if that's the case, what can I do? So I know that I have this equation here, which I wrote down. So I know that, well, I can replace y with 7. All right, so I'm replacing this y with 7. Equals 3 halves. I'm going to replace that x with 6. Right, so all the so the 7 here and the 6 here come from this statement, right? That f of 6 is equal to 7. And then all I have left is a plus b. So when I simplify this, I have 7 equals, get rid of that. I have 7 equals, I'm going to call this 3 over 2 times 6 over 1 plus b. So just showing all my work here, 7 equals 18 over 2 plus b, 7 equals 9 plus b, and we subtract 9 from both sides, leaving me with negative 2 equals b, which means I can rewrite my function, all right, so I'll go over here where I have more space, and I can say, well, I have f of x is equal to 3 half x minus 2, right, because I just figured out that b is equal to negative 2. So that's the usefulness of that statement, right? So notice how I'm not continuing to read the question until I extract all the information from what's given to me, okay? So now that I've extracted everything from here, now I go to the actual question. The question is just saying, well, what's f of negative 2? So again, f of negative 2 just means I'm going to replace the x with a negative 2. All right, so this x here became negative 2 because this x here became negative 2. So when I simplify this, so once again, 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 1, and then minus 2, this becomes negative 6 over 2 minus 2, right? So this is still f of negative 2 equals. And then negative 2 divided, I'm sorry, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So f of negative 2 equals negative 3 minus 2, and f of negative 2, therefore, is equal to negative 5, meaning that my final answer here is choice A.